All right, this is episode three of many um, on how to set up your own grid. Right now, we are going to set up the Wi Fi uh, back end of the grid. Uh, we're going to build it into the robust that we just set up. So, to do that, uh, we need to go ahead and get the Wi Fi, of course. Uh, you go to the website, uh, Diva Wi Fi here. And you will go ahead and click on this link and download the latest version here. And once you get it, just unzip it. Uh, and it's going to give you some similar stuff here. So what you need to do is, first off, you need to... Uh, let's actually go to the original one, which is this here. This is what it will look like when you get it. So go into the bin folder, copy the entire contents of this folder, and you're going to put that inside of your bin. Okay, so you're going to paste that in there. I've already done that, so it's all in there. Now, the second step is to go back to your Wi Fi um, download where you have it extracted, and you go under Wi Fi pages. Now, you copy this entire folder to, and we're going to go inside of tutorial again. You're going to put it inside the same folder where the bin is, but not in the bin folder, just like kind of in it. So, there it is there. So, I paste it in there. Okay. Now you have to set the code in the robust HG uh, INI file. So we're going to go ahead and open up that. Okay. And I've already pasted it here, but you can find this uh, bit of code is actually given to you in your downloads, Wi Fi, here, and the bin under here. It actually shows you. Uh, that area, but I've cut and pasted certain things out of it because it's not all of it's not necessary. I only have what's pertaining to, um, but you can cut and paste the whole part in there. So you cut paste it, boom, right at the very bottom of your robust. It's going to look like this. Uh, you have to define your login URL, which in case is this. Our web address will be this. You define your administrator's name and last name. And you set the email for it. This is if you wish to uh, control count. Registration. So, if you want to lock down registration to only certain members that you approve, you change that to true. If it's false, then anybody can register and log in without your approval. So, down here is where you set your default avatars. Whatever you, uh, if you want your these avatars to change appearance from Ruth, what you do is you create an avatar with the same names as the ones here. Log in with those avatars and set them up how you like them to look. And then anytime somebody chooses one of these three, it will take on the it will copy the appearance of that avatar onto the new user. Uh, keep in mind you need to leave all the items no mod uh, on your starter avatars because uh, if somebody changes an item on one, it'll change it for everybody. Just word of wise. Next section here is where your default avatar will be if nobody chose one. I just leave that at neutral. And then below you will go ahead and set your STMP. Okay. Next step is you need to tell your service connector uh, to start that service. So you have to go back up to the top area and under service list here, closer to the bottom, I like to put it right underneath of user profile service. So we're going to cut and paste that there. And that's Wi Fi service connector equals uh, IP address slash DLL. And it's going to load that. So now all that's done and saved. So we'll save that. Uh, okay. So now we've got all of our additions in. Uh, we can go ahead and restart uh, Robust here. And Robust will start up. Take a second. It's going to load the Wi Fi service connector there. So now you can just go and visit um, your Wi Fi page. So in this case, it would be tutorial.skylifegrid.com colon 5005 and then Wi Fi. And there is our uh, Wi-Fi page here. So now we can go ahead and you know, start creating an account here if you like. And let's say test user jibber jabber at you know .com. And we'll go, let's make a crappy password. And we'll choose mail. And you're going to see that... Uh, Oh, I didn't put this in the right password in both. Test users. 
the email is not important. Just as long as it has a dot com at dot com. I believe that's all that's needed. Okay, so let's try this again. All right, so there you see that it's been created. Now on the Wi-Fi, you're going to see uh, account created for test users. So now we could literally log in with them, but we don't have any region to log in with. So that's going to be our next step. But uh, basically, that's all it takes to set up Wi-Fi. Uh, if you have any troubles with it, you can uh, cut and paste the bit of code that I will leave you guys on the description, uh, which will be right here. And you can just edit these uh, to fit your own, and that should just be fine. Okay? And that another really quick thing. Um, on the Wi-Fi, uh, for your Wi-Fi page to pull the information such as how many re uh, regions, how many people are online, how many people were online the last three days, you need to change this from Open Sim DLL Data DLL to Diva Data Maestro DLL, and that is done where you define your database connection info under the robust HGNI. Uh, so just add that there, and it will start using the DLL for its purposes. That will conclude this episode of uh, tutorial. So stay tuned for the next episode on how to configure uh, a region for your grid. Thanks for watching.